If you're tired of your Xbox games running like this, then be sure to watch the entire video so you can boost FPS and internet speed on your old or new Xbox. But before we do anything, you're going to want to quit any games you have open by pressing the start button on the game and choosing quit. Now for the first step in making your Xbox run like new again, you're going to need to open the settings. So press the Xbox button on your controller and then press your right bumper one time and go down to settings. Now what I'm about to show you guys is something that is often overlooked and is most likely what is causing you to lag. So what you're going to do is go down into system and then choose storage devices. Now once you're here, you want to make sure the usage percentage right here is under 85%. If your hard drive is over 85% or it's even at like 99 or something, then that is definitely the reason why you're experiencing low FPS on your Xbox. And if you have multiple hard drives like I do, then make sure each of them are at least under 85% so that they can operate as fast as possible. Now if your hard drive is above 85%, obviously to decrease that, you need to uninstall some games. So once you've cleared up some hard drive space, what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the main settings menu. Once you're in the settings menu again, you're going to go back to the general tab and then go over and choose power options. Once you're in the power options here, make sure you selected shut down energy saving mode. If you have it on sleep mode, then your console is never going to shut off completely and that will just cause it to keep running and will eventually slow it down. So make sure you have it on energy saving mode and then you can back out of this. Once you're back here in the main settings, make sure you're still in the general tab and then choose network settings. And what we're going to do is going to fix any internet problems you're having on your Xbox. All you need to do once you're in the network settings is go over to test NAT type. And then once you've done that, it'll say your NAT type is open or modern moderate or it might even say it's strict now if it says your nat type is anything except open so if it says moderate or strict like mine does right now then be sure to watch my other video where i show how you can fix this issue so that you can get better ping i'll have a link for that video in the description or it'll pop up on the top right of your screen so once you've done that just press continue and go back into the main settings so what we're going to do for this last step is back out of the settings so you're at the xbox home screen and then once you're here press the xbox home button again and then choose my games and apps and then choose see all go down to apps and then once you're here you should find something called xbox accessories now your console should come with this app already installed but if it isn't installed then you could go over here to microsoft store open that up and install the app from there but you should have it and if you do just go ahead and open it up you'll see your controller right here go down and press the three dots and once you're here just press update now and then once it comes up press it again and then you'll want to put your controller down and let it update now your xbox controllers don't automatically update so you're going to want to repeat this process every month or so or whenever you feel like you're having problems again and once it's finished updating then you have now done everything in order to speed up your xbox as fast as it could possibly go and if this did help you please be sure to leave a like and subscribe as i do make a lot of other videos like this one.